Hey guys, what's up? It's Kale Ninja back again with another video, and today we are doing it. If you were on Reddit and you saw this post, you already know what this is. This is the most annoying OJ2 characters based on Reddit. This is going to be part one, since y'all blew my comment up with a bunch of replies, and I thank you guys for that. If you guys want um, part two to come out sooner, make sure to blow this video up with a bunch of likes and a bunch of comments. And I will make part two sooner than part one. Now, remember, I won't be able to get it out tomorrow because, you know, I have to play an OJ2 festival and I have to get a bunch of stuff done, which OJ2 festival will start on Saturday, so make sure you catch it. Um, you have a bunch of people like Seasons, uh, Season Switch, um, Gaffire, Draco, Wolf, a bunch of, bunch of people there. Um, so, yeah, um, but here's how it's going to go. I will read it out and I will try to explain the reason why I believe that comment was in the right mindset or it wasn't in the right mindset now note this is my opinion and these are everyone else's opinion don't go shit on someone just because they think 100 percent is the most annoying character in the game so let's get into it all right the first person we're going to talk about is the newest dlc midnight now i see a lot of people talking about midnight considering one she's the newest character and two she is pretty annoying in my opinion now there are a bunch of reasons why she's annoying, but we can go over two uh, reasons. One, fat range. Fat, fat, fat range. Fat range. And her sleep gimmick, which, if you didn't know, is the only person who has the sleep gimmick in the entire game. Now, if you stand in the sleep for too long, you fall asleep like there, you fall over, and she basically gets a free combo on you. And it does not feel great to do. Be, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel great to get hit by because one you have to always be avoiding her You have to always be avoiding this fan and her perfume, which is her quirk one um, She throws it and it goes into this weird really large sort of tracking arc. It feels like it tracks You know, it feels like it tracks um, But it doesn't help when you want to get in she also has this move which is functionally a DP um, It comes out fast it whips you away. It has fat range. It sends you like that far. She can like whip you away and then she has enough time to jump and throw her fan and then she can start neutral all over again. God forbid you are a character that has to get in on her because you cannot do that. It's so hard to get it on this character and she doesn't even have an RTA. She's missing an option. Um, but yeah, honestly, I feel like this is just founded in actual, like, reality. Midnight is very strong. Very, very strong. And people who state that are lying. Um, in my opinion, she is, like, I'd say top 15 in the game. Um, but yeah, I really think that she is a insane character. She's extremely unique. I, can't, I gotta get Viking that. But just because she's unique doesn't mean she's fun. Or fun to fight against. There are a lot of characters who might be kind of fun to fight against. But just with the combination of her fat, spammable range. And the mix of her sleep mechanic. Which also sleeps you on block. Hold on, let me show you. Alright, we're setting Kendo to dodge. Now I'm going to throw my fan at her. And look at this. Or Yeah, look at this. Now, uh, granted that was an unblockable. And granted she's going to fall asleep. Look, But now, if I throw my... J or er, my uh, J Quirk 2 at her, which is not an unblockable and is a physical projectile, she still gets to sleep on her. And it doesn't help that if you hit um, a character with sleep, she also um, Midnight also gets a thing where like she her footsteps produce the sleep. So if you walk up to her or walk behind her, you'll get hit by that, and it cucks you a lot. It just it just straight up destroys you. So I really feel like that Midnight is really really annoying um but there are a lot of annoying characters so let's get on to that now next is may and i really do believe this as well um i think may is a very annoying character as well now she has a lot of the things that midnight has like fat range like like look look at that hold on i could probably go i could probably go a decent far away from Look at that. She can confirm all the way from there. She's really, she confirms from far away. She has really freaking fat projectiles. Like, look at that net. Net is fat. Net is fat. Um, her barrels, annoying as shit. Her barrels are annoying as shit. She has basically neutral supers, which aren't combo supers, but supers where she can just run behind them, do whatever she wants. She gets in for free. Um, she has the most annoying red ever. 
It has a lingering hitbox. It's so annoying. God forbid you have to punish it by jumping. Which, if you don't do it fast enough, may can do this. Her jab, I swear to God, it has the most priority in the game. That thing beats legitimately everything I've thrown at her. Like, I've seen it beat Nomu Quirk 1 on reaction. That's how dumb this is. Nomu Quirk 1 on reaction. It's so dumb. So dumb. Not to mention, obviously, she has all of this. So, even if you do get in on her, she can just do this. Not to mention, combos are annoying. She can um, cancel everything with her... She can whiff cancel with yellow, basically, all the damn time. Um, her yellow... Funny, safe as hell. Um, so just don't try and approach her. Don't try and punish her. Um, she's just... She's a baby SS, but with a few more tools than SS. So, she has some lift cancel. She has some far range. Um, she has a lingering hitbox red. She has some pretty stupid projectiles. This move is annoying as well. Um, but there's one good thing about Mei is that you actually gotta kinda know what you're doing with her. And a lot of Mei players don't know what they're doing with her. They kinda just throw jab out throw this out every once in a while and then they and then when you get the dodge then they get punished because you can actually just straight up punish this you can punish this if they don't go full range um so yeah um may is annoying but if you if you fight a novice may you shouldn't really be losing uh bait super exploitable habits that all mays do but yeah uh may is really annoying all right, next we're talking about Ochako Uraraka. Jesus, with how many girls we're talking about in this video, they might think I'm sexist. But Ochako is also very, 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 very annoying. And it does not help that she is a popular character. Um, She's popular in the sense that there are two majorly good top players that you can run into that are playing this. And that is Incog and Reviewer. And I'm not going to lie. They are good, uh, but Ochako carries them. We all, we, we all know this. We all know, we, we, we all know this. But, you know, <laughs> no shade, though. No shade thrown. But Ochako has a lot of strengths. It doesn't seem like she has... The problem is, is that she has really good strengths, and she doesn't seem to have any weaknesses. She has a projectile, um, fast-ass buttons. L Lord, for you don't ever challenge us in the air. Don't ever challenge Uraraka JA in the air. You are getting you are getting hit, and you are taking a solid 50. If the Ochako knows what if they, if the Ochako knows what they're doing, you're taking a solid 50 from literally a single air jab punish. Um, this move didn't have to say anything. You already know every Uraraka. If have you ever been hit by this, this is the bane of your existence because you are just sitting there floating and you don't know when you can press you don't know when you can mash you don't when you don't know when you can just guard and sh the Urarakas always set up rocks all right that, that, those are totally rocks Urarakas always set up rocks and then they have enough time to not only set up rocks but then combo you after it just feels really slow to fight against and really boring for fighting against it doesn't feel like the Uraraka has to plan anything at all except for pick up rocks um pray you hit a singular button and then take like 50. It always feels like the Uraraka always has it in the palm of her hands. It feels like the Uraraka is always winning regardless of if she's losing or not. Um, she can throw her rocks faster. And her rocks are so fast and put you in so much hit stun that she can combo off of it at mid-range. And it's really, really stupid. Did I forget to mention? She has the fastest run in the game. I forgot to mention that, did I? The fa literal fastest run in the game. Don't ever expect to react to this in any sort of delay never expect to react to any sort of delay the only reason i don't hate this as much is because i'm a mirio player and i have trained myself to permeate this on reaction almost every time i get it a solid 89 percent of the time and when i forget it i take like 70 percent because uraraka just does a shit ton of damage if you know what you're doing um but bad uraraka's usually just spam rocks from full range they play uraraka like a sniper which is annoying but Uraraka projectiles aren't god tier projectiles, they're just good. So yeah. Alright, so the next character we're talking about is Shoot Style Deku. Shoot Style Deku 
is the monkey character. He mashes on basically anything. You can't whip punish him. You can't really do nothing to him. Um, he presses jab, then he immediately presses quirk two. Um, boom, you just got punished. And if the shoot style is smart enough, or can combo off of it, you take, I'd say, 40% for fair. That's pretty fair because you tried to do the right option and whip punish. Um, shoot style really just preys on the fact that you don't know the matchup. Because, like, as soon as you learn the shoot style matchup, you should be decently well at this. Just don't punish the first hit. Always go for, always go for the quirk to punish. Um, if they dash cancel it, then they get their, their plus or whatever. But if you have something that can beat it out, then go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, he basically just mashes on literally anything. Um, and doesn't, doesn't, doesn't help the fact that he has some of the coolest combos. So everyone wants to freaky play him. He gets wall splats off of literally everything. So it doesn't help that he's easy. Um, he gets wall spots off of everything, which is a great multiplier of damage. Um, and people love to play him because he's the main character, guys. He's Izuku Midoriya. He's the Goku of this show. So, yeah, of course, people are going to want to play him. And then that makes it super annoying because you have to fight him, like, three, four times in a day. And you don't want to do that. Like how you have to fight Todoroki three, four times in a day. But, yeah, uh, shoot style is really annoying because of his abundance and his mashiness. And the final character we're talking about today is Dobby. Now, the problem with Dobby is that he throws things at you. He throws a lot of things at you. And you cannot do anything about it unless you are in optimal range to punish him. And you can't punish him. Because he throws out his yellow. He throws you away. He has insane pushback. Like, look at this pushback. That is literally full damn screen. Just from the fact that he hits you once. Um, so yeah, you're really not going to like fighting him if you're a close range character, you are basically screwed. Most of his stuff applies burn, so you're going to be looking blue 90% of the time. Like, you might be, I'm blue, da ba dee da ba that was a terrible joke. But yeah, you're going to be looking blue 90% of the time. God forbid the Dobby just does not like you, and just jumps up. Two, three, boom. You can't win. They won. They won every once in a while. They'll have, to put, they'll have to put the traps back up. But, after that, they can legit just do this. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Because every single thing you throw out, Dobby can read on reaction if you get up close to him. If you get up too close to him, he'll run away. Um, he's decently fast, so he can do that. And then while he's running away, he can do this to retreat. While he's retreating, he can throw this back at you. Um, luckily, Air Dash is forced you to move forward. Like, as you can see, there is a bunch of stuff on screen because Dobby just does a bunch of things and just throws a bunch of things everywhere. And it does not help that he can combo after some of his projectiles. Um, it does not help that he does a lot of chip. Let me show you. Let me show you right here. Does that help? He does an insane amount of chip. Insane amount of chip. Now, it's adding on top of my original damage, but that is a lot of chip. Luckily, burn doesn't apply to uh uh projectiles when they're blocked but if they did then that would be broken um this also pushes you back full screen if the dobby decides hey get back you're from now full screen you're now full screen um he can do this after jab and you're full screen that block string is pff, that is the most safe thing i've ever seen in my entire life look at that I don't, I, you, ain't, you ain't even plus. You're probably minus on that. But Lord forbid someone punishes you. You ain't getting punished. They can't mash at all. They can't mash as soon as this shows up. They can't mash as soon as this shows up. And then you can run behind it. Because it, show, it stays out long enough. For it to actually just... And then you can get jailed. You can get jailed if you're close enough to a wall. Look at that. Look at that. You're jailed. You're literally jailed. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Nothing. Nothing you can do. Nothing you can do, and you're taking chip. You're taking chip. Um, if he's far enough away, you actually take more damage because he can space it out. You take like thou. You take like a thousand chip. You take like thousands of chip just from blocking this. And chip's not really much of a factor in OJ, but getting the health lead with Dobby means that you can just have more of a justification to camp because Dobby's close range options are bad, so you have to stay away. Um, which means that he will just camp more and more. And more and more and more until you time out and it's not fun anymore. But yeah, 
uh, I think that's it for the video today. If you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Remember, um, five likes, and I will get part two out very, very, very soon. But yeah, I'm glad you guys liked this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Started from the bottom, now we way up. Way up. Then I got the bad bitch, she stayed tough. Stay tough. Ain't no fucking playing, we ain't game boys. Now we got a name, they wanna frame us.